welcome back to the channel. So today we're just going to cover something that's uh, kind of been asked on uh, one of the previous videos um, regarding where to install your security gateway module bypass harness. Uh, there's two connections up underneath the dash here. <coughs> um, you, you'll remove this uh, panel here by removing the, uh, the two screws, one located here and over here. You'll use a uh, 930 seconds um, socket. Uh, I'm just using it on a screwdriver attachment. Uh, remove those. And then uh, there's, so there's three attachments total. One at the OBD, two at the CAN, uh, CAN bus block. Uh, one connection will be green and white. This harness is only used for 18 uh, and newer model years uh, of Chrysler FCA uh, Ram vehicles. Um, I don't know if this um, harness will be utilized for a Durango Jeep um, as the lengths can differ. So uh, you'd have to get with your specific manufacturer, whether it's Z Automotive. Uh, this one specifically came from uh, Kaod Tech, um, K A O D tech um, I like the quality of it I think it's a, a pretty nice built harness um, so that's the that's the manufacturer that I chose um, so let's get into it So you remove those two screws and then this just pops up and over and then you can bring it down so here you can see here's the harness right here so this is your main this is your main harness uh, this you'll remove this piece by undoing these two clips here one and two and all you do is you just push them. Let's see if I can better angle. You just push them in, and then it pulls out. <clears throat> so that would be this connector here. You'll pull out. You'll insert the new harness, which runs from here to here, connected at the OBD, and then you have two splices that run up here. Okay. Here's your white. You can see here with the two braided lines white and blue and there's a connector on the top right right up here that if you want to take this loose you'll push you'll push down on this little connector on the top and then you'll pull it out so this one is white and on the back side you'll see the green right here so these are the green and all you want to do is uh, this one is actually the the other side of that harness so all you want to do is just find an open spot which there's there's a couple you can see a couple right let me see if I can get it okay, there we go you can see a couple open spots right there and that's where you'll want to plug into really any open spots you can plug into on, on either block. And that's pretty much it, guys. So once you get that, um, once you get that completed, you'll be able to um, utilize the CAN bus features. So uh, programming of features with um, Alpha OBD. Um, this can be utilized on the, the diesel specifically. Um, there have been a couple instances of um, programming failure due to the CAN bus um, communication being blocked through uh, the security gateway module, um, utilizing uh, programmers such as the Race Me or Race Emmy Ultra and the MM3 programmers. If this occurs, what will happen is <coughs> the lights on the on the dash here will not shut off. 
and then what'll, what'll, what it'll do is um, it'll just drain your batteries uh, because it doesn't complete the programming process. Uh, even if you pull the battery cables, it will not complete the process. So what you would need to do is then go ahead and install this harness, which I'll provide a link to um, down below in the description. You'll need to get this harness, go through your programming procedure all over again, and then it'll complete it uh, because it is bypassing that security gateway module. Hope this helps. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to comment below. Um, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. <clears throat> if you're not new to the channel, thanks for subscribing. Um, leave your comments below. Hit that like button if you like this video. Um, stay tuned for more automotive content. Thanks for watching.